In this video, we'll answer the question whether SO2, that's sulfur dioxide, is ionic or covalent. Covalent is also called molecular. So first thing, let's look at the periodic table. We have the periodic table here divided up into these metals, metalloids, and nonmetals. So for sulfur, that's right here. That's a nonmetal. And then oxygen, that's also a nonmetal. So since we have these two nonmetals here, we have a covalent or molecular compound. So two nonmetals, that gives us our molecular compound. Let's take a look at the Lewis structure for SO2. And we note that the sulfur, we see these two lines here. Each line is considered a bond. So this is a double bond, and it's a covalent bond. So when you see these lines, we're talking about a covalent bond, and the electrons are going to be shared between the sulfur and the oxygen. That's how a covalent bond works. The electrons are shared. The reason that happens is the electronegativity between sulfur and oxygen, it's not really large. And since we have a smaller difference in electronegativity, that gives us our covalent or molecular bond. This is Dr. B answering the question whether SO2, sulfur dioxide, is ionic or covalent. The answer is that it's covalent, also called molecular. Thanks for watching.